Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I get like these beachy easy curl waves. I've been doing them non-stop for a good month or so. They're very easy to achieve. Um, yeah, so if you want to see, there's not much I could tell you guys besides they're very easy to make. And the next day they look even better because they have fallen, kind of broken up apart. Yes, you will have to curl a few strands but not completely so if you want to see how you can achieve these curls at home then keep watching so before i get started and actually show you guys the steps that i do i'm going to show you guys what i do prior to curling my hair that way um the curls last a little bit longer and actually hold their shape so the first thing i like to do is spray my whole entire hair and in between um my hair and all that with some heat protector and I like use the one I like using the one from Tresemme I've been using it for years and I love it um I have tried other brands once or twice maybe and I feel like it's not the same thing so Tresemme is always my go-to if I am working with dirty hair like I am today which basically means that I haven't washed my hair out in what two to three days then I will go in with a dry shampoo I have extremely dry um dry hair so it's actually really good for me to not wash my hair out every day but if you have oily hair i would get, i wouldn't suggest going more than two days without washing your hair but in my case i could probably get away with not washing my hair out within three to four days if anything i have pushed it to four days but just my hair just over time doesn't feel you know i feel like i lose a lot of volume so i like to go in with a dry shampoo I like using the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo, the green bottle. Um, I think I'm out of this actually, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get out, how much use I'm gonna get out of it today. But this bottle has lasted me quite some time, um, even though I have been using it fre frequently. So it's really good. Um, the only thing I don't like about it though is it will leave you. Um, you guys will see later on in the video. It will leave you like a white cast in your hair. And when I brush it out and zhuzh it out, um, it kind of looks almost gray. So I have to be very careful with this. But overall, it's really good. To hold the curls in place, you could go ahead and use whatever hairspray you have or whatever you prefer. I like using the Herbal Essence Body um, Envy Volumizing Hairspray. I used to hate using a volumizing hairspray. But over time that my hair has been thinning out or I have like, you know... I see spot like my hair flattens out really quick because I have no volume in it um, I like to use a volumizing spray so I could just spray it in between um, layers and it will volumize it and hold it in place I also like that this doesn't give you that hard crunch curl um, there are hairsprays that you could tell right away they have on and it your hair looks kind of crusty and, and crunchy I don't know but this does not leave it like that so this is one of my go-to's as well this is the curling iron I like to use. It's from Con Air. I'm not really sure the size because I've have had this for like a good two, three years and it works just as fine. Um, it is one of the smaller rods, so it's probably like a one and I don't know. To be honest, I'm not even going to name or mention a number because I don't know. But um, it's one of the smaller rods. It will... If you try hard enough, you probably can get a ringlet curl, but the way I curl my hair, it's more of a natural wave. And since I do have short hair, it works perfectly. If you if you have longer hair, you might want to go with a bigger barrel, but this one works just fine for me. And now um, you'll also need bobby pins or hair clips or hair ties and a hairbrush. So I know it could get a little bit confusing on how to hold and how to curl the hair. So before I actually turn this on and heat it up, I'm going to just grab a section right here and show you guys what I what I mean and what a lot of people will mean by you want to curl your hair one way and then hold it the opposite way. So I'm just going to grab a section real quick right here. And then this clamp is facing towards the wall right now. So you're going to want to put it there. And then twist it and make sure the clamp is facing the opposite way of the wall. So now it is facing forward instead of backwards. And that will give you a curl. It's not on so it's not going to curl my hair. So um, that's going to give you a curl one direction. When they say to switch directions of the curl, the clamp should be facing forward. You're going to clamp it, twist it. And then the clamp should now be facing towards the wall, which is the opposite way of when you curled it. So when you do these curls 
one way and then switch the curling iron a different way it's gonna give you more of a beachy curl and it's not gonna clamp together the curls and then just give you one continuous curl if that makes any sense so now I'm going to plug in the um, the curling iron and then prepare my hair to curl and then we'll get started so while that's heating up I'm going to go ahead and take my um, my heat protector and spray my hair the heck? with this make sure I get it in between You don't want your hair wet, you just want to make sure you distribute this everywhere. And then I like to brush it out. Just to make sure it gets as many strands of hair as it possibly can. Make sure your hair is tangle free. And then I like to go in with the dry shampoo like I did say before I am working with day two hair. So I have not washed my hair out in two days. Some people it does gross them out but for someone like me who has dry hair it works just as fine. So what I like to do is split my hair down the middle. You don't have to necessarily do it down the middle. You could just split it down where you want. Why isn't it doing it? But for me, I like doing it down the middle. Like so. And then I like to get the dry shampoo. I'm running out like I have nothing left. <laughs> Okay, we're going to skip on the dry shampoo because there's nothing left. Of course, there'd be nothing. But I'm just going to grab a little bit of hairspray then. Spray the roots. This is going to give us volume and it's gonna, not going to take away the shininess because that's what the dry shampoo's for. But since I'm out, we're going to have to resolve to this. And then I'm going to get the crown. And then I get bobby pins. I don't, I lost all my hair clips. So I kind of pinch it together like this. And that will hold the volume up. So I want most of the volume to be right here in the center of the head. So that's where I'm going to apply the bobby pins. If you want, you could apply one in the back, which I probably should do. Well, wait, probably. I would wait two to three minutes with this on if you have the time. If not, go ahead and skip it out. But since I have all the time in the world right now, I'm going to go ahead and wait a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and then start curling the hair because it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. Now that it's been a good three to four minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take out the bobby pins. And you could see the volume. It didn't hold like bumpy, but there is some volume compared to how their first was. So I'm just going to brush it out. So we don't get those crunchy eh, strands of hair. And then I just split my hair down the middle, grab one side, and then I begin to curl. So I like to take a big chunk, probably, what would you say, this is a good inch or so of hair, maybe less, and I like to start in the back first. So I'm going to leave probably like an inch or so out, so I like to hold it right there, and then put the clamp, go around, and now the clamp is facing you guys, so I'm just going to wait a couple seconds. And then release. And since I am working with more of dirty hair, it's going to hold the curl way more better than some 
anything like fresh washed hair just because my hair does have oils in it at the moment so it's gonna hold a little bit better so now since I did the curl the opposite way with the clamp facing you guys the wall I mean I'm gonna take the other strand and then the clamp will face you guys I'm gonna twist like so I like to wait at least 30 seconds I know people wait a little bit more a little bit less it just depends what you want so now you'll be able to see that the curls are facing the opposite way of each other maybe so now I'm gonna go in with the second strand and now I'm gonna put the clamp facing back leave a good inch or so twist And then release so I'm gonna show you guys a couple more and then I'm gonna go ahead and speed through and do the rest so this time let's put the clamp facing you guys which is the camera twist twist and then the clamp will be now facing you guys release there we go the clamp is in the back twist I could twist one more and all the clamp is facing you guys So now that when I get start getting towards the bangs, I like to just take a pretty big section and curl everything the opposite way of me. So clamp it. I'm pretty sure I did this one wrong. Like so. And then I like to leave less hair out. So now that the hairs are curled, go ahead and leave them like this. Don't touch them or anything. Let them cool down completely. So while this cools down, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other side. So once again, once we get to the little bang area, curl it away from your face. Okay, so I'm going to let this side cool down. Let me curl this a little bit more. Now I'm going to let this side cool down and move on to this side. So you see how this one is kind of like a tight curl? What I like to do is just stick my finger in between it. Break it up. And add more curl to the root of one of the little sections. So then I take my fingers and just wiggle and pull. I'm going to add a little bit of hairspray. And then if there's any pieces that I see that are probably like not curled enough or too, what the heck is that? Too straight at the root, I'll take the curler and just give it some volume. Now this other side is completely dry as well, so I'm just going to... Frizzle it with some hairspray. 
go in between, jiggle, and pull. And then basically this, these strands right here didn't get a lot of volume at the root, so I'm just going to split the curl in half. I don't like to hold the clamp on it just because it will leave a little divot or a dent. So you just open and close it. Which way is this one curled? <laughs> this is the hard part. Figuring out which way they're actually curled. Okay. Just gonna wiggle it and split them apart you could leave it like this if you do have volume in your hair but with me it kind of falls flat over a couple hours so i will go directly in the temple area and back comb it or tease it Hairspray. I'm going to do the back, which is the crown area. Tease it a little bit. Hairspray. And then I will hold the like the tips, go in between the strands, and give it a little bit of extra more volume. And then if I do see that there's pieces that I want more curled or aren't curled enough, I will go back in with the curling iron and fix them up a bit, like right here. And then just play around with the curls until you get them how you want.